So it is 12.45 p.m. It is Monday. Happy Melon Monday, y'all. So I got the B5 Encyclopedia complete hardcover set and one massive paper with like 818 pages from 2019. So there is the back. Nothing on the back. This was an interlibrary loan coming from Springfield Green County Library. So thank you very much for having this in your system for me to check out. I was hoping to get the hardcover set because it's listed in the uh, OCLC database for well, World Cat, World Cats database, but oh well. But you have these guys, the references, which is pretty cool. Mm. I did like this. This is a nice book to go through. So. If you've never seen an encyclopedia, this is what an encyclopedia looks like for a fandom collective. Uh, so lots of text, black and white pictures, basically what the original Star Trek and Star Wars encyclopedia looked like before they got their upgrades down the road. But yeah, for B5, this was an encyclopedia I wanted for a long, long time. Yeah, when I found out about it, I wanted, I still want the damn thing. And I actually kind of want to buy the hardcover. I just got to find a good price on it. Because the last time I checked, it was, uh, somebody was selling it for like 300 And the cheapest I saw was like 225 And I'm like, okay. So this goes A to Z. And you get everything about B5. The shows and the movies. Nothing about the comics, which is kind of sad. Well, you get the shows, the movies, the books, and yeah. So that's fun stuff. Main characters have multiple pages to them, which is cool. Um. This is a nice book, though. And it's heavy, naturally. Pages feel like regular printer paper. Uh, text background is great, so you can read it. Unlike some books that, you know, they just throw a whole bunch of shit out, and it's like, you know, I can't read this. <laughs> but if you do have vision issues, I would recommend, like, if you can't read this, I would recommend getting a magnifying glass or have a friend read it to you. Or get... I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> but, no. Yeah. B5, though. Why do I feel about B5? Well, it is God tier sci fi. And it's hard to really explain and shit because you really got to watch it for yourself. You have to. It's one of them things you got to sit there and watch it either start to finish or you can watch it chronologically. Me, I prefer the chronological version because it's. The finale hits a lot harder that way. Yeah. Most people are like, oh, Sinclair's the best commander on B5. He's so good. And like, yeah, that's true. But so is Sheridan. <laughs> <clears throat> and everybody's got their favorite too, which is in, which is a lot more fun about this because you don't have the usual squabbling like Star Wars and Trek do. Like, with Star Wars, there's nothing but squabbling and whining and bitching and niggling left and right. B5, you get... It's an easy franchise. Easy, easy franchise to get into. Because you have five seasons. You have, I think... What is it now? Seven movies? Yeah, seven movies. Comics, books, 
that tie up loose ends from the show and <coughs> really expand the whole deal. Plus, there's a reboot coming out next year. That's going to be fun. Yeah, be anxious to see all that measures up to the original. But if you don't like B5, that's cool. I'm not forcing this on you, just showing you what's inside this. You can try it. You know, if you don't like it, that's totally fine. Some people have a hard time getting into a show because it's dated. What the fuck ever. But then again, they'll sit there and watch something even older and be like, oh, that's fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> But if you like smart writing, you like intelligence, you enjoy depth, you enjoy intricacy, this is the series for you to watch. And this is the book for you to get as well. So you can follow along and learn. Yeah, this does complement the series quite well. I love it. Will I buy this book? I don't know yet. I mean, I really want to get the hardcover edition because that's the one I was hoping to cover. But this will do just fine. I, I mean, this one is cheaper. I think it's only like $70. <laughs> They can, there's two versions to this thing. It's not, it's nice that there are two versions because it gives people, you know, if they can't afford the expensive one, they can get the downgrade version, which still gives you everything plus multimedia access to the website with other stuff as well. My favorite part of B5 is definitely, uh, Valen, yeah, Valen's tr Reverse Trilogy, and, let's see, yeah, Valen's Reverse Trilogy, The Lens Transformation, Sheridan, the whole chronological cut of this whole series, and... The movie Third Space plus The Long Road Home. Man. Nah. God. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. And it's amazing, like, how deep this series got. Like, I did not expect this series to be so fucking deep. And there's my boy Kosh. Love him. And Jakar. Love Kosh and Jakar the most. Yeah. It's crazy. But the one thing that's really appreciative, and I've covered this series twice, or I've covered it twice on my channel, and I've also read the comics, and they're on the channel as well if you want to check those out too. And the cookbook, and some other reference books that will be on the channel uh, in the future as well. The one thing I love is the shortcuts J. Michael Straczynski took, bringing this to life. Oh, there are so many little shortcuts he took. I love it. From, let's see, the rations being Nutri-Grain bars with lime green tape over the label so they wouldn't get fined. <laughs> oh, there's Richard Mall. Oh, good old Richard, Mission Man. Uh, to, oh my, 
just so many things that worked and they got away with. Even Ivanova's romance arc with uh, Lee, no, Talia. That was really beautiful. I actually talked to him about that too on Twitter. And he said um, he wanted to fully explore that, but the network cut so much of it out, which was really sad. And I get it, you know, for not for the '90s, way ahead of its time, and yeah, <laughs> it's a bummer they cut it though. But it is what it is. Hopefully, they explore it again in the reboot because I would love to see the whole extension of that arc unfold. Ah. <coughs> uh. My favorite species would have to be uh, I don't know. It's hard to pick. Like the Narn are cool as fuck. Uh Londo's cool. The Drotsy are funny as shit. The Mimbari are very deep and shit too. I don't know, it's hard to pick. Because there's so many choices, you know. When you when you watch this series, there's a lot to pick up on. And it's stuff you have to really pay attention to. Because if you watch it the first time, you'll totally miss a lot of stuff. But if you do a rewatch, you pick up on a lot more as you go on. And Psycore is another element of B5 that needs to be explored more. I mean, there's so much that could be explored with B5. That's how I'll put it that way. Because there's so much depth to each thing that's introduced each season. And they could explore it a lot more. And back then, they did a lot of exploring over 20-something episodes. So, if I'm telling you that over 20 episodes, there's still more to tell. Yeah, you can bet they're going to do a lot more in probably, uh, I guess maybe 12 or 16 episodes for this new series. Because, you know, tension spans are slow. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Originally, this was going to be a two-part video, but I decided to make it one vid. Because I'm like, why am I going to do two vids? That's dumb. I mean, yeah, my hand's gonna hurt. I'm gonna be tired, but fuck it. <laughs> uh, that always makes me cry. Yeah. Always, always, always. Even just, just the sight of it, it's like, oh, it hurts so bad. Mm. But... But if you're looking for an alternative to Trek and Wars, definitely watch this series. You will not be disappointed. And it's it's got such a resurgence in the last decade, which is really nice. And I'm happy about the resurgence because it's like, damn, this is awesome shit. <laughs> but some people just don't get other shows. I mean, I was the same way. When it debuted, I looked at it and I said, fuck that. Star Trek's better. <laughs> yes, I did. I was like, nothing beats Star Trek, because this was 93. And I was into DS9. I was into TNG. I was into Voyager. And then Enterprise. Oh, man. So, yeah, this was like a slap in the face. I'm like, no, fuck you. And then time went by, and then I bought the first season, and I fell in love with it, and bought the entire series subsequently, every month. <laughs> it's amazing, man. So amazing. You got familiar faces that guest star on this series that have either, they're still around, or they've died recently. So you get to cherish their roles that they did that became legendary. 
Uh, crazy. Yeah, how do I feel about this encyclopedia, though? It's a good encyclopedia. Very good. You get everything you could want to know about Babylon 5, Crusade, and the films. Uh, and the books. It's a great read. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, 800 pages might be intimidating to somebody, but it's like, fuck it. War and Peace is a thousand pages. <laughs> but, yeah. And we're almost done. Finished. Look at that. So, that was B5. Ain't that cool. Phew! So I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back a little later with some more. Stay tuned.